So, last time, you were given a mission, you went out to the Rubicon Dive, uh, you met uh, the rest of the party, those of you who weren't already Shinigami, uh, you almost killed the rest of the party, but at the last moment you were attacked by, well, you weren't attacked, you were accosted by the Ganju gangmen, uh, negotiations deteriorated, and you wound up killing Ganju. Yay. And two of his men. And just before the session ended, we had a visit from somebody who you weren't supposed to meet for a few levels. So we're going to see how this goes. I didn't do anything. Oh, RTL. I was like, you forgot to mention this is all RTL's fault, by the way. Do you <laughs> wish it was all Blame my RTL. Fault. Blame RTL. Literally the entire comment section on the video is blame RTL. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might have had something to do with that, but um... you definitely had something to do. With that. RTL, hey, what's going on out here, Faith? <laughs> All uh, right. In his that? defense, in his defense, he didn't know that I set the Ganju gang up uh, in order to be hostile to him. Like he did not know that. So don't blame him too much. In my defense, um, I literally t convinced him to leave. Then Squid was like, nah, fam, I'm going to kill you anyway. And I got attacked for. I never attacked first. Okay, anyway, let, let's start the section, session. So I call her the intro and I introduce everyone. And Poxel as a bystander who let it happen. Poxel was an active participant. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Bleach D and D, where the music is too loud. Oh, thank you for turning that down. Anyway, today we are joined with some legendary people. Um, RTL Faith, you can introduce yourself. What is good, people? This is your boy RTL Faith. What is going on? Uh, make sure you also include your character's name. A good th hey, what is my character's name? <laughs> um, Abaki. I am Abaki Gokumi, uh, the best right. character here by far. Uh, comment hashtag blame RTL if you guys are still watching. Um, anyway, uh, Squid, you can introduce your Eight character. Years. Uh, it's me, Squid, and I'm Gonzo, the most elite warrior out of all of us. I could solo this entire party easily. <laughs> okay, Saxy, you can introduce your character's name. Hello, my name is Jiggy Koshaku, and I'm here. And and I'll, I saved the best for last. My name is uh, Shiba Kuchki. Definitely didn't copyright uh, the Shiba clan name. Anyway, our DM is Psycholler. He Kuchki is here name. now, and we shall begin. Okay. Let me know when all of you have loaded the scene. <coughs> oh, man. It's and uh, Fox, I'll make sure you're looking at the right part of the scene. I will. Do that. <laughs> I, promise. I promise that I will. Okay. Okay, mine's loaded. Uh, Same. Oh, it's loaded. Yeah, I can see it. I'm... Okay. So, as Shiba right. and Jiki are accosting Ibeki, or Ibaki, 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 you hear a voice calling out from the far end of the road. Ara, ara, what have we here? <laughs> That's a weird thing to say in this situation. <laughs> I rewatched the episode that had her in it, and I couldn't pin down her personality. <laughs> So, you get what you get. <laughs> sure. It's like, she doesn't, she usually doesn't give a IDGAF, you know, that's the type of character she is, until, you know, something serious happens. I just turn around to say, what the fuck? <laughs> As you turn around, you see a corpse of a large boar with Gonzo standing drenched in ass blood behind it. <laughs> hey guys, it's me. You can also just to the side of the board, you can see one of the men who you thought run off. Oh, you fucking bitch! You came back. 
that's hey right. guys. Yeah, we came back. Of course we were going to come back. You killed our boss. We had to go get his boss. Hey, your boss, you guys attacked me first. That's because you came to the city and we're make, talking about how you're going to take out the bandits. That's our job. You guys suck at your job. Uh, with all woman, due respect. The woman backhands her subordinate who is uh, talking out of turn. And comes up and says, well, they truly may have sucked at their job. That doesn't mean that I can forgive you for killing my little brother. Is she talking to me? She's talking to the group. Okay, thank God. Hey, um, I didn't do anything. I didn't even gonna, draw my sword. I'm going to look at her and say, uh, what's his name again? Ibi- Ibaki? I'm going to say the one that Gon's, what's his name? Ganju? Was interested in, what, or I don't know that yet. You actually. don't know his name. Yeah, the one that, that weird <laughs> guy that I d- killed, maybe. Uh, that's he was interested in Ibaki over there. All and right. Ganzu leaves the area. <laughs> I'm gonna say, well, your your one of your people saw Ganzu kill Ganju, and I didn't even draw my sword. I actually left the situation, and then by the time I got back, everybody was dead, basically. Uh, Gonzo's going to back away also. He's going to move away from this woman if he can. Right. He can maybe go like right here next to his friend. <laughs> Mizuku is going to kind of hop over. Oh, come on. Mizuku is <laughs> <laughs> that back. Everybody Wait, just to, just to clarify, we. Gonzu, Gonzu's head is cut off, right? No, I cut his head off. Yeah, Jiki cut Gonzu's head off. Or that guy's head off. Okay. Jiki cut cut his head off. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was una- I'm sadly I was unable to get the finishing blow. Sadly. You put him on the knees for me just to slice him up. Really nice. Thank you for that. <laughs> Are you really going to try and run away? No, you know, it's no way I would allow that. It's called social distancing. Have <laughs> 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 you heard of the spiders going around? Have some respect. Can I, hey, can I say this? I'm gonna say this to uh, Kohaku. Is that her name? She didn't Kohaku. say her name. I don't know her name yet. Although I have her description entered as Segoi Dakai Bishojo, so you can. Think, like refer to her as that if you want. That's her character description. All right, I'm gonna say this to her. You know, no offense, guys, no offense, but hey, I uh, I understand you're upset. You know, the Soul Reapers, unfortunately, they uh, thought Ganju was a threat, and because of it, they're a little bit trigger happy, thinking that he was bandits. I try to defuse the situation. Well, we know how Soul Reapers are. I'm sure you're aware. So, unfortunately, I couldn't save your younger brother before it was too late. I apologize. And unfortunately for you, you're correct. I am aware. He wasn't the first one that the uh, Serete has taken from me. But he will be the last. I'm going to turn to Jiki and say, Hey, Jiki, that is not at all how it happened, right? No, that's totally not how it happened. Like, Ibaki was is to blame for everything. Ibaki didn't try yeah. and help Ganju at all. At all. Like, he just started running away. He just, he just ran away immediately. <laughs> well, okay. he, he just, just used tripped over the technique of the, of, of the Jotaro clan. Of the uh, Jojo clan. She raises both of her hands in the air. Enough of this. And you can see she's moving her lips. She's mumbling out a chant, but you cannot make out the words. Okay. And in the area surrounding you, a black mist kind of rises up from the ground, and it solidifies and gains it, it increases its opacity until you can no longer see through it. For all intents and purposes, you can assume that your movement has been restricted into the area. Uh, what? So, oh, boys, we've done woofed. Say that one more time. So she raises up both of her hands above her head. And she said, enough of this. And she starts mumbling out a chant, but you can't catch any of the words. 
And as you look, in an area around you, a black mist rises up out of the ground and quickly solidifies into a form of wall. For all intents and purposes, you can assume that you have been restricted into this area. Okay. Um, hey, is there any way we can resolve this not violently, please? I've seen too much bloodshed for one day. <laughs> you should have tried that with my brother. Your brother ordered his man to punch me in the back head. It literally half killed me. Wow, I didn't know the Shinigami were so weak now. This will okay, be bitch, friend. there is literally no need whatsoever we're gonna for have that to kind fight. of talk. We're going to be forced to fight. Um, I'm going to step in and say, uh, before we fight, uh, can we at least know your guys' names? Certainly. My name is Kukaku Shiba. My brother who you killed's name was Ganju Shiba. The dumbass on my right is named Mitsuri, and the dumbass on my left is named Kenji. Okay. Nice to meet you. I bowed that I, I uh say uh I wish we could have met under different circumstances. Um Can I ask? I am Shiba Kuchi. Can I laugh at them for being like fallen nobles? Yeah, if you want, it's within your character. Haha, <laughs> dumb, stinking ex noble. Make it is so bad. I'm a can current say, noble. Hey, can I ask her if uh, she was told about if she was told who was the one who killed Ganju? How would what? You told her yeah. that. If you want to ask, her, like, oh, if you want to ask, if you want to ask her that, go ahead. Hey, uh, what's her name? You said your name was uh, Ko Kokaku, right? Were you informed about which one was the one who killed uh, your brother Ganju, who dealed the finishing blow? Yes, I was informed that the men that the gentleman standing next to the young lady knocked him down and the gentleman standing in the middle was the one who killed him it was me <laughs> and also me <laughs> <laughs> and also me I uh, that is a geek. Tell, he's my uh, best friend and I'm not going to let him die <laughs> as you can tell I'm not a soul reaper so why don't we make a deal but you're carrying a Zanpak too. I have a very, uh, I have a very uh, similar history with Soul Reapers such as yourself that I can't tell these people here because they're with the Serite. Well, I suppose we can talk about whether or not I'm going to kill you later. If you stand aside and don't intervene, none of my men will harm you. Excuse me, can I interrupt for a second? You've done it plenty of times already. Okay, well, I, you're not going to hurt anything. You are so rude. Anyways, uh, if, you're gonna like kill me, if you're going to kill me anyways, can I? Can do you mind if we kill Ibaki first? No, because now I have words that I'm supposed to have with him after this. No, I can't kill him, or no, you don't mind? <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to ask. As I, will not, I will not allow you to, uh, to to kill him until after I've had my or until after I've been able to talk. Okay, fair enough. Hey, I would so ask, like. Hey, um, hey, talk to him now so we can kill him, then we'll fight. You. Uh, okay. Oh crap! Everybody, shut it up as soon as I. Okay. Unfortunately, I would like to talk with him now, but I have these four tyrannical ants in front of me. Wow, how well, weird! This barrier isn't going to go down until. Until people die, so. Onkai. <laughs> <laughs> please, please. That was a nice bluff, but there's no way that the Serenity would send people with Bonkai into the Rukon die. Dude, you didn't let me do a deception check. <laughs> no, because she's she knows Shinigami, so there's no way you'd be able to pass that check. I'm oh, a natural man. twenty. Like you, okay. Out of character, you guys do have meta knowledge. Mm -hmm. Her. Um, one of her brothers was a lieutenant. Like she is familiar with the inner workings of the Serete. Yeah. Yeah. She oh didn't yeah. No. Speaking... Uh. Oh, that might make the situation worse. Oh, well, I'll just say. It. Uh, you mentioned you had another brother die from Soul Reapers. 
I'm sure you realize. Are you able to? What was his name? If I might know. Cayenne. Would I uh, would I recognize that name or no? Like the Papa? Since he was uh, a lieutenant. Look up what squad he was in. He was in thirteenth. Yeah, he was in squad thirteen with Rukia. Uh, uh, yeah, because because Rukia is there and she's a prominent member of your house, so you would know the name. Oh, okay. Um, would my well that would mean I would know it too. Yeah, yeah. both of you would recognize the name Cayenne. And for all intents and purposes, you can use um, any meta knowledge you have about this character. Uh, except for the, the, the how he fact died. that you, except for how specific. I literally have no meta knowledge about him, so I'm screwed. Well, there, there wasn't that much. All we know is that he was a kind, but he uh, had people. He made people work hard. Yeah, Kyan's a was a pretty uh, good dude. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say. Well, I'm sorry you lost him. I I know who Kyan is. He was a great lieutenant, uh, is what many say. Who he was. Building his own grave. That's all Gonzo was doing. Are you, hey, uh, whatever your name is, you're sure I can't kill Ibaki just really quick? It will take two seconds. <laughs> she lifts her hands up. And she starts mumbling a chant again. Oh, man. I hate this woman. She's unreasonable. Oh, okay. You see a similar blackness has risen up around the body. Oh, dear. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just... You guys are like... I, I've i now decided you are bandits in league with each other. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to try to continue... Uh... I'm going to say sorry that she lost both of her brothers and say, I understand why you're angry with us. Um, I, I don't hold anything against your anger towards us. Um, I'm sorry that we have to fight over this. Honestly, the saddest thing here is like, I know my older brother is not going to care nearly as much as you when I get killed here. <laughs> and who just, is your older brother, pray tell? His name's Biaki Akuchki. He's a real asshole. Just not a good guy. Yes, I'm somewhat familiar. Kyan had many complaints. Well, your brother sounds like he was awesome then. And yet, you went and killed my other brother. Granted, you didn't know, but you are still Shinigami, and the Shinigami have done nothing but wrong and harm my house. They might have wronged your house. Yeah, I mean, I can't they, even deny don't, it. Don't they save many? They save who's convenient for them to save. Why would you say convenient? Because every time bandits attack the Rukand, I were lucky to get somebody sent out to help that's why my other younger brother, who's currently laying headless on the floor, formed a gang in order to protect us from bandits. Hey, the villagers straight up told us that they were not protecting them and that they sucked at what they did. Well, yes, he's my younger brother. I, and I, on top of that, like, we were literally here to help and he attacked me. Again, not trying to justify my actions, but I mean, I don't know. Come on. I don't know if you know this, uh, but... The Soul Society is overwhelmed with the amount of hollows in the world of the living. And overwhelmed by the amount of bandits that are here. They, they can't, they don't have enough manpower to be able to deal with any of this. She turns, when you, when you say that he attacked first, she turns and looks at the, one of the people next to her. Is this true? Did you all attack him first? And he turns and he answers her. Well, they, they were bullying the innkeeper. We had to protect him from the bandits. And you think these people were bandits? Well, I mean, they had that one guy who was dressed up like a bandit who was helping them. 
And she is a very, very big side. You know, I will, if I may cut in, because I don't respect you, uh, I will fully admit in a, I had a, you know, the guilty as charged. I did bully that guy. I feel bad about it now. It was sort of in the heat of the moment thing. But he didn't. He didn't respect you. God damn. But when, when he did start bullying him, the other Soul Reapers, including myself, stopped Gonzo. And to be fair, I just wanted to trade clothes. I mean, it's I wasn't threatening to kill him. I just uh, wanted to... You were asking him sh- to put on the ropes of a Shinigami. That's equivalent to threatening to kill him. I'm dumb Shut as up, hell. Yanzo. I don't know anything. Shut up. Shut up, Yanzo. Uh, yes, we know that, and that's why we stopped him from doing anything more. And we were going to wait until when we exited um, these... Your brother and his... Uh, fellow comrades tried to kill us. Can Gonzo well, just run up and slash this woman? Would you like to? Well, no, I'm asking, like, is there a... I forgot where her barriers are. Is there one, like, in between the barrier, her and us? No, the bar- I literally, I just drew a wall around you yeah, guys so you wouldn't be able right to here. see outside. Oh, okay, okay. No, I'm just, like, I'm the, keeping the, that the knowledge barrier, loaded in the back of my the mind. Only, the only, the barrier is... Anything that you can see is within the barrier. Oh. God, well, great minds think alike. If, if I'm going to die, then I'm going to at least try and hit this woman if it comes to it. Um, wow. Okay. I'm not saying I'm doing that. Like, I just wanted yeah. to know if it was possible. Yes, you would be able to attack her. Can she still hear me when she's <laughs> along the barrier? Oh. Uh, yeah, because it's her barrier. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to keep that in mind. But can he hear us? Well, it seems... Th- no. The, okay. the Only she can hear through the barrier. Well, it seems like there's information that I didn't have. Unfortunately, this is a fairly high-level keto, and it's only going to be able to be dispelled if blood is shed. And she turns to her men while backing up. You two go finish what you morons started. While yeah, they fight, can I, can I relay a message to uh, Kokaku? I mean, you can just start talking, and whatever you say, she will know what you said. Okay. Uh, hey, you said your name was Kokaku again? Um, Can't talk to un- you. It is one-sided. Okay. She can she can perceive the interior of her barriers, but she can't interact. She can't talk, she can't talk back. Hey, uh, this is Koku. Hey, you said your name is Kokuku. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm going to say what I have to say here. I do not think that the Soul Reapers here are in the right, but, and they do deserve punishment. So if you have to do what you have to do, I understand. I just request that you don't kill them outright, because I still need their help in getting rid of the bandits. After the bandits are dealt with, then you can do whatever you want with the Soul Reapers. That has nothing to do with me. But I'll let you think about it throughout the battle. It's funny because you don't even know she can hear you, so you're like a crazy person. I have knowledge about Keto, and I assume that she could hear me. He has some level of Keto knowledge, and he recognizes that it was a high-level Bakudo. Bro, I'm a cool comment. I wouldn't have answered his question if he didn't have that knowledge. Uh, question. Um, would I know uh, anything about the Shadow Keto around us? You can assume it's at least level 70. Oh! Could I, uh, would, it does, wait. Okay. I didn't if think you she was this strong. I mean, she can cast level 60 Hado. Mm-hmm. I thought I she think, was like I mean, I below think she was lieutenant like, level. Really? I thought I she didn't was. think that. Because Yodoichi, it, it seemed like Yodoichi and Ko- Kokaku kind of seemed like peers when they first met. Obviously, Yodoichi. Boy, it's captured. D&D. It's not. Like... All right, that's enough meta gaming. <laughs> According to her wiki, she can use uh, Hado number sixty-four at the least. So I just gave her a very strong Bakudo as well. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to turn yeah. my party members and say that I don't think we should kill the two individuals in front of us. 
Okay, if it comes to that, if it comes to it, we'll just knock them out. Let's okay. incapacitate over murder. I mean, she ordered. Okay, here's the situation, Stan. She ordered those two to finish what they started, and then I rolled their initiative. Hey, Jiki. Okay. Hey, Jiki. Let's yeah, yeah. Uh, wink. Let's just knock them out. Sure. Are you, try, are wink, you picking wink. up what I'm putting down? Wink, wink. Yeah, sure, sure. All right. Jiki uh, is now plus four to Jiki Trust. Okay. I need all of you to roll initiative, and then I need to roll Mizuku's initiative. She's been pretty quiet. Flipping she damage. Kudere. Why do I always get a one on these? It's <laughs> never not a one. Okay, so... Wait, is, I have a question. Could you quickly take a peek? Is the initiative put in wrong? Because I always get ones just for initiative. It's never different. Roll it again. See? Oh, I was wrong. Wow, look at that. You just rolled shit. Okay. <laughs> I just want okay. to make sure. Um, I'm actually writing down the order. So this one, the order will go so we don't run into fucking turn skipping with last time. So, it'll be Kukaku, Musico, uh, Dude 1, Actually, no, not dude one. After music, who is squid. Then it's dude one. I didn't think she was fighting, so I'm really scared that she rolled initiative. She's in the combat area. So she needs an initiative order. Uh, sneak attack. Good, She's good luck, coward. guys. Y'all could maybe do it. Uh, uh, did, did, can did, did, you guys uh, hear some wind blowing in the background? You guys hear some simp talking? <laughs> <laughs> um, I do and hear dead men talking. <laughs> I don't think you can hear us. And then <laughs> I think you're just an insane person in there. I'm not even talking. I'm meta talking. I thought you were gonna say okay. meditating. So for her I first action, she's just gonna back up to the edge of the barrier. Then Mizuku is going to turn to Ganzu, and she will cast one of her spells at you. And as she casts the spell, you see her face, it kind of twists, like she's in pain, and her eyes flash briefly red. Oh. But uh, Gonzo will go ahead and add five temporary hit points. But not past 20, so just... No, hit points can go as high as you want, so five temporary hit points. Uh, all right, cool, cool. You see right below current hit points, you have a section in your character sheet for temporary hit points. Oops, I put that in wrong. Does so would I put five temporary hit points in or twenty two? Five. Okay. Temporary hit points come from well in regular D D, like enchanted armor can give you temporary hit points. That doesn't exist in Bleach. Uh, but spells, uh, class abilities, that kind of stuff. Alright, we're good. I'm tanky. And then Squid, it is your turn. Oh, man, I wish these guys would have come to me. I guess, you know what? Let's do this. I'm just running over there. How far away is that, actually? Fifty feet. So you can run directly in front of one of the guys. Uh, with one move action, and then you would still have an action left to attack. I'm going to just, for I'm going to move, like, halfway. I'm going to move to, like, here. Okay, right in front of while you are running... While you were running, in the back of your mind, like almost as if it was a subconscious thought, a thought that wasn't your own, you hear a very, very deep voice murmur, Namazu. Oh, it's time for the board? Does that mean what I think it means? Yes, it does mean what you think it means. You should see all the relevant stuff has been added to your journal. Yes. All right. Can I do that with my action? My yes. last remaining one? Perfect. Hold on. Let me... Uh, okay. <laughs> and with my remaining action, I say, Namazu Imahito Sashi. And I go sicko mode. Okay. So then go ahead and roll your attack. My attack. Uh, 
Is that in my... As, okay, as he says his words, you see if well, everybody but RTL sees a flash of light running down the length of his Zompok toe. And he was holding it in a two-handed stance while he was running. And he spreads his, he pulls his hands apart and it splits the sword straight down the middle. And then it regenerates to form two Zompok toe, one in each hand. Both a little bit shorter than a regular Zompok toe. Hell yeah. But still two fully two full swords. And I have I have my Shikai ability, right? You have the first level of it. That's so sick. This is so sick. I don't think I'm in range to do anything yet though. You're standing right in front of the person with a move action. You still have your attack action. Oh, wait, I thought I stopped moving in front of the boar. No, I said in front of one of the dudes. Oh, perfect. These guys are owned. Uh, what are the... I just roll... Just How do I roll? Attack. Is there an I, attack I, on I've my literally, sword? I've literally already changed your sword's name to be Namazu in your attacks. So you can just roll an attack just like last session. Perfect. Ooh, okay. <laughs> so you, with the sword in your... What's your dominant hand? Uh, well, mine is left, so I guess Gonzo's will be left. Okay, with the sword in your left hand, you, just as you pull, so as you're running, you pull the swords apart, and in the same motion as pulling the sword, you time it and do a horizontal slash across his chest, horizontally bisecting him. Wait, I just one-shot him? Yeah, you fucking critical. <laughs> I'm a legend. Horizontally by nice going. Thanks, Jiki. And the two halves fall onto the ground. God damn. No, you still have down. the attack with your other sword because you're dual wielding, you get two attacks per action. Although I the mean, second attack has disadvantage. He's within my range, right? It's three tiles and he's within three yep, tiles. Because you can use your tele you can use your dual wielding to attack within three tiles of you. Okay. Now I'm just rolling the same thing? Yes. But you have disadvantage this time. Because oh, wow. um, it's your offhand. The, the, the way that that rule works is every attack after the first attack has disadvantage unless other circumstances would give you advantage. So, for example, if the enemy is prone, that overrides the disadvantage and you have advantage. All right, sick. I did probably did not hit him with that rule. You did not. So he freaks out as you're swinging the sword at him. And because you're doing this for all intents and purposes, it's the same motion. So, like, you've just cut the person in half and you're swinging the other sword and you release it from your hand. And you use the sword ability to telekinetically control the sword in order to try and cut him through as well. However, because it's, you've only just unlocked the ability, you don't have complete mastery of it yet. So, he's able to uh, dance out of the way of the sword. This guy's lucky. Dude one is dead, so dude two is the next in the initiative order. And he is going to make a move action to here. And then he's going to take cover, which will give him plus one AC. But he's going to focus on defense. Uh, Pixel. Oh, it's my turn? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to move down here. Yeah. Okay, you're standing on the board. Oh, wait. Can I have <laughs> so a... you'll have disadvantage unless you move one more tile. Will that give him an attack of opera? No, because I wouldn't be able to. Because you're right. moving into range, not out of range. Oh, Plus, yeah. he's focusing on defense, so he won't get an attack of opportunity regardless. Okay, let me check one second to see how many feet that is. That's less than 30. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you have can I move can... right there? Yes. And now... Uh, okay, you're standing on the fence. Okay, can I move right here? We all just watch in horror as she <laughs> just keeps running back and forth. No, what is this guy doing? You cannot, occu on? you cannot occupy the same tile as a creature who has the same size as you, unless that creature is dead. Uh, okay, so um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
if a person, I ju I roll strength if I want to try and knock someone out, right? Or you just declare that you're using non-lethal damage. Okay, yeah. I'm going to declare that I'm using non-lethal damage. Uh, I know Saxy will recognize this because he also watches the One Piece D&D. I'm adding a rule that they ignored. When you roll non-lethal damage, you're supposed to roll disadvantage. Oh. Okay. Uh, so we are going to use that rule even though they were ignoring it. Just if this ever comes up again so you don't get confused. So you can go ahead and make your attack roll with disadvantage. That's probably going to miss. Um, I'm trying to see if I can do Although, that. Although, actually, you're technically flanking him right now. So So just first? So it would be regular. You have neither advantage or disadvantage right. to your first roll. Let's go! So a critical success. And you deal him for eight damage. Yeah, so you cut the sword down across his chest, taking very great care that it doesn't penetrate too deep. And he looks down at the wound, and the whites of his eyes kind of roll into the like roll up, exposing the whites, and he falls over. Uh, Come on, guys! You could have left something for me. <laughs> you can go deal with Kokaku. <laughs> you can go <laughs> kill him still. You don't have to be non-lethal. Hmm. Huh. I'm gonna say something. Uh, I know she might not hear me. Um. Is it pot? All right. I'm just saying. I don't know if you can hear me here, but if you don't mind, I would like to see. Enough time has passed. I would like to see what's going on in the battlefield. I would like to see what these soul reapers that are you're fighting are capable of. I'm gonna say that out in the air. Hopefully, she responds in kind. Okay. Uh, no, Gonzo, Gonzo, I have an idea. If he leaves ever out of that, we just kill him. <laughs> can Wait, I say that again? Say, Gonzo didn't hear you. Can I help with that? Gonzo! <laughs> I'm really far away! <laughs> <laughs> I can't move. We're still on the battlefield. It's not my turn. No. <laughs> Don't worry. You're safe back there, buddy. Okay. We'll talk later. <laughs> All right, I love because, you. Because blood has been shed, she is able to drop the barriers. Or the barriers, they collapse. All right. All right, everybody run away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's how it worked. Interesting. I liter She has literally told you three times that the barriers cannot be dropped until blood is shed. Yeah. I thought... I thought it just meant their blood. That's why I cut that guy in half. He didn't hmm, do that smart. on purpose. Okay. Uh, Ibiki, since you're now in the combat scenario and it hasn't officially ended, you need to roll your initiative. Well, actually, we'll just add you to the end to make it simple. So. You're now in the end of the initiative order, so it'll be Saki's turn next, then yours, assuming combat doesn't end. She's going to... Now she's going to say, Well, I was curious how you respond. It seems that the younger... Which one of you is younger? Uh, the weaker one, the baby okay. idiot. It seems that the younger one actually has a sense of honor. Unfortunately, the other one does not. He's just like all the rest of them. Shut up. Didn't you like say that if blood isn't you shed, we can't the kill the barriers? Him, woman. I never once asked you to kill him. I simply stated that they had to finish what they started. Yeah, you said blood, something blood, too weak. He was shedding too weak. blood. Shedding blood does not necessitate that you have to kill someone. He was so weak. I literally didn't put any effort into that. That was like I could have sneezed on him and he would have died. Uh, with no offense. And yet you still didn't restrain yourself. Typical of a Shinigami. All right. You know what? You know what? My newly awakened Zombar is getting pissed off! He's turning Super Saiyan. <laughs> I'm gonna go Super Saiyan Blue! What level do I unlock Kaioken at? <laughs> <laughs> and Saxy, unless you want to try to say something else to diffuse the situation, it's your turn. But she is thoroughly pissed off now. Not me? Uh, oh, just Gonzo, right? 
I'm not, I won't even make you guys make an insight. No, at all. Well, at you, she kind of like with honor, like she sees you with honor, but without making any insight checks, you can tell that she she went from being like moderately distressed to being thoroughly pissed off. Like you know how in anime the vein starts twitching on the temple. She's got that on both sides right now. God damn. Good job, Gonzo. Cheeky, you have to finish. Now that he's out of the barrier, you have to do what needs to be done. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet. We'll fix her off more. Later. Did I hear that? You no, didn't. we're such close friends, we don't need to actually talk out loud. Telepathy, man, telepathy. I am choosing I, I, to I, believe I, that the jokes about TK is um, out of character and not in character. <laughs> All right, fair Here's enough. A fair awakening. Enough. I, I, mean, I walk up. I, I walk up to Gonzo and just like stand there with him. Like just, if you try anything, this will not end well. You're not. You haven't swung a sword yet, so we can still end this before any blood, sh any more blood is shed. I just say that, and that's it. That's my action. She checks over her person. And she's patting herself down. It was strange. I I didn't think I I I didn't think that I had brought a sword, and it looks like I was correct. So I won't have to swing a sword to end this. Oh God! You trying to piss her off, like yo yo? Cheeky, she pulled off. out the Uno No You card. <laughs> <laughs> she's, about to beat you. she's about to beat you with her bare hands, bro. And RTL, it is your turn. And it, right. her turn, it is in the initiative order. It is her turn next. All right. So, can Kokaku hear me from here? I need to get closer. You would have to move closer. How close? Uh, halfway. Tutibaki is such a coward. I'm no, I, I can't wait to kill him. Well, you have to be within 30 tiles or within 30 feet for shouting to be able to carry. So 30 feet from where she is right now is right here. Which you would be able to move to with uh, one move actions. Did you have 45 move speed? Okay, hold on. My thing just did something. I don't know what it did. All right, now I got to refresh now. Hold on. Okay, so um, while RTL is uh, facing the other direction, can I stab him? Does he get an no. attack opportunity? <laughs> no, he's not within 10 feet or within. He's not adjacent to you. You do not have a ranged attack on your sword. Uh, uh, hey, Gonzo, can I borrow your Zampacto real quick? <laughs> all right, I was gonna. I was gonna. I was really trying to oh, God. Oh, God. What the hell is that? <laughs> he, he's unmuted in the thing. <laughs> I just I just completely turned his volume off in game. <laughs> <laughs> How do I make it so it never happens again? I was gonna try to help you guys survive, but I'm I'm just thinking about completely turning my back on y'all right now. You do that and have fun dealing with the band. Well, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna tell my brother. I'll, I'll deal with the band. Oh, we're gonna find you. How are you gonna do? How are you gonna tell your brother when you're dead? <laughs> I'll just I'll turn into a hollow and come back. Uh, I don't exactly think that exactly. Guns Wait, smart. so am I close enough? Because I accidentally moved. I mean, let me move to a proper place. You're close enough, and that was within your movement range. All right, can I move right okay. here? Mute yourself in the fucking thing. Just deafen him. It's not that hard. I did. It turned back on. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know how I did that. Okay. So I don't yeah. Know. Um, yeah, that's close. You, you can move there. So what are you going to say to her? Um, <laughs> so what's her name? Kokaku. Kokaku. Did you hear my, uh, did you hear what I said while I was in your barrier? Yes, I was familiar with everything that you said. That's why I was having them tested. And unfortunately, they failed. Did all of them fail or only a slut few? They're all Shinigami from the same squad. I see. We actually don't have a squad yet. Stupid. Well, I yeah. will say this. Well, then I you're can't... even weaker than I first thought. Like five days old. <laughs> I, I will say this. I can't help anybody who's committed a uh, 
deadly uh, a deadly act in front of you. But the ones that haven't, at the very least, can be useful in helping take out these bandits before everything's said and done. This guy is such a fucking simp. Dude, I hate this guy. Did I hear that? Oh, right. No, we're whispering. No, we're yeah, whispering so the, the, they're whispering, so the noise only travels two tiles. You are three oh, tiles away. You guys are lucky I didn't hear that. All right, all right. <laughs> so, Kokaku, before you outright kill all of these Shinigami, even though they do deserve it, just take this opportunity. With Ganju's gang gone, you need someone to take care of these bandits. After that... You can do what you please. Like I said, it has nothing to do with me. A simp and an opportunist. I fucking hate this guy. This guy's more of a villain than any Hollow ever would be. Uh, and she's going to respond to you. I think as you're about to find out that I am more than capable of dealing with the bandits on my own. And what's more, based on your current little speech... I really don't like men like you. Oh. <laughs> All right. Dude, well, I, do, right. Trade him. I do know where the bandits are located. And on all honesty, we can do this. We can handle them relatively immediately. You can have a talk. Anyway, it there. is her turn now. Well, I didn't get to say going. that last thing. You said it while she was moving, and she's ignoring you. My queen, what come back. World? She can, I feel like she just should, throwing me she, over. She should target RTL. Oh, wait. You didn't hear me say that. <laughs> <laughs> For and me, Mizuko's still in the back like the homunculus that she is. Muz- Mizuko Sakura. <laughs> Useless. How many feet is this? Okay. Oh! What was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was me. That was me checking her line of sight. Okay. <laughs> Boys, out of character, I think my internet's gonna die. It's no, really my enough. only friend! <laughs> so. She's going to go ahead and she's going to cast Hado number 63, or I call vote. It's a six. Which, That's I'm gonna six. just say I dodged that. Funnily enough, is the only spell that is listed on the wiki that she can cast. <laughs> so I had to go through and come up with a bunch of other shit for that. And as the beam of lightning is forming, you hear from the very back, it should have been a whisper, but for some reason you can still hear it, a female voice muttering, Kosi. The homunculus moves. <laughs> the homunculus, Mizuko, discharges a jet of red light with a red mist around it and manages to deflect the Hado. However, shortly after doing so, she collapses unconscious. Babe, no! <laughs> Not, not, yeah, my future the MVP. not my future waifu. Not my future waifu. Squid. Y'all calling me simps. Okay. Squid, it is yeah. uh, your turn now. And that was the only freebie that you get. <laughs> uh, first of all, Jesus Christ. Second of all, can I can I ask you like an like a meta knowledge question or whatever? Like out uh, of character? Yes, you may ask me. Is there any chance that we're resolving this non violently? I am trying to play her who says she hates Shinigami. If one of you wants to meta correct, other than Yoroichi, I can't think of any Shinigami that she's on good terms with. Uh I know that she like she forgives Rukia. She makes the promise that the next time Rukia goes up to her, if she just says sorry, she'll forgive her. So I don't think, like... That's that's only after everything happened, wasn't it? I, yeah. Well, no, no, no. She said, I made up my mind a long time ago. And I, I quote that. I made up my mind a long time ago that I would forgive you for what you did. I don't think this is the same situation, because Rukia legit didn't do anything. 
She didn't so, do anything wrong for sure. And you also all just killed her brother, so well, yeah. I, I didn't keep in mind, Sheba hasn't killed a single man with his hands. And I have even drew my sword, so again, I'm not involved. But weirdly enough, the only one she said she hates so far is Ibaki. <laughs> 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 I Blame don't think that she likes Sims. <laughs> I didn't even sit for her. They're just saying that. Right. I, guess, I guess I have no choice then, really. You can resolve it non lethally if you don't kill her, but at this point, you would have to fight her at least to the point of knocking her out. I'm, I'm gonna. We, and I think we should do that. I'm just putting sheep. I'm gonna just go try and, like, Ah, oh, jeez. I the problem is if I fight her non-lethally, I'm gonna have disadvantage, and I probably won't even be able to get a hit on her. So you well, the non-lethal understand. blow only has to be the final hit. You can fight her lethally up until the final hit. Oh, okay. Then I'm. It just means I'm that just if you accidentally her. overkill her, she will die. Although out of character, uh, because this is the first time you've fought in a boss tier uh, NPC, uh, she has enough health where you will not be able to kill her in one turn. Uh, okay. I so do. If I, like, it's my turn, right? Yes. If I, can I move and then say something, or does saying something count as my second action? You can move, you can talk while you're moving. <laughs> All right, then I'm moving. Here, let me see. I'm going to move up, like, here, so that way I don't, I'm not in, like, direct line of sight with anyone, so they don't get collateral. Um... And as I'm moving, I'm going to be like, you know, I don't want to do this, but you're not really giving me a choice here. And then I'm going to, you know, do my big move with my awakened Zanpakuto. So you can attack twice since you're still, you have two swords. I attack twice at once. But do you want to do the second attack or do you just want to leave it? I mean, I think I need to do, I think I need to lay everything I have out. Okay, then you go ahead and attack the second time. Okay, it's uh, 18. Uh, as you you go up, you say the words, and she kind of cocks her head a bit at you, like she doesn't understand what you're saying. And you throw both of your swords away from your body, kind of diagonally, and you make them come together. So, like, they curve around her, forming a circle with her um, at the apoapsis and you at the periapsis. And both of the swords come and slice across. Didn't have and to be this like way. 18 damage. And, and uh, your one is dead, your two is unconscious, pixel, it's your turn. Okay. I'm gonna. We can move 45 feet, right? Yes. Where are you moving to? I'm debating. Would uh trying to would trying to use the skill like heal you know that that like I can't remember medicine on Mizoko could that wake her up? No, but you would stabilize her so she doesn't fail her death saves. I will say out of character that she has to fail the death saves three times to actually die. Mm -hmm. So it would be better again out of character for you to try and nuke down her, uh, nuke down the woman before she gets another turn, and at the same time, try not to line up. What do you mean by nuke her down? Like, just do as much damage as you can to this horrible woman. She can kill me in one hit. She can probably kill all she of She can us kill all of you in one hit. Uh I'm going to cut her with my Zanpakuto. Okay. I'm Are you out of spell points? Yeah. Uh, wait, wait. What did I use? I can't remember. You wait, if you can move that far? 45 feet. Let me check the movement distance. Because you're right, that was kind of far. That's exactly 45 feet. Mm -hmm. 
Damn. Technically, Is going over the boar would be rough terrain, but for the purposes of um, giving you all a chance to survive, we will ignore that for now. Do I have one <laughs> spell point? I can't remember. I don't know where uh, I You okay. only cast the binding spell once last session, so you would have one spell point still. Uh, out of game, I don't know if you can tell me this, but does she have a very high... Uh, if you can, let me know. If you don't want to, I understand. Does she I thought have Postal a high cast wisdom? a defensive key, though. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. Uh, you did, so you're out of spell points. Okay. You're out of spell points. Then I'm going to cut her with my Zanpakuto, if that's the case. Okay, you'll have advantage. Oh, you didn't need advantage anyway. Five. Because the reason you would have had advantage is because Gonzo still has two swords sticking on the first stomach. Oh, I was using non-lethal damage. Do I have to specify that? Cause I... you, would, you needed to specify that before, okay, I understand. but she's still not dead. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not what I wanted to edit. I just wanted to edit her hit points. There we go. Okay. She probably has like 36,000, so you don't even need to worry, folks. No, she's not immortal. Uh, sexy, it's your turn. Okay, I move to here. And I just attack her. Okay. You have advantage because you're adjacent to Pixel. So oh. you crit. 10 damage. Okay, nice. Dude, that's my boy. That's my friend. Hey. Dude, we better become like die. lieutenants when, if we make it out of here. We're oh, out of here boy. Yes. RTL, it is boy. Lieutenants at least. <laughs> um, would it matter if I move Mizuku to a different location? Uh, you could drag her closer so that it would be easier in order to um, save her. Because when, okay, when you're dead, good opportunity. When you're unconscious, which Mizuku is right now, uh, on your turn, you have to make a death saving throw. If you fail three times, you die. If you succeed three times, you're stabilized and are no longer at risk of dying. Okay, okay. If need be, do I have anything to save her life? And it's just an action. You can go and stabilize them as an action. But because, the reason I told uh, Shiba out of character that doing that would be stupid is because she hasn't even failed once. Oh, do we get to see if the bandit fails once in the chat? Or does he not? No, you knocked him out. Death saving throws are only for players. NPCs don't get them. Okay, good. Okay, well, can I go to Mizuku... And just move her, like, right next to the door of the inn. Let me measure the distance. 30 there, and then you pick her up. Yeah, you have just enough you could do that. Okay. Yeah, I want to do that. Okay. And you move her next to the door of the inn. And then you'd be there because you just dragged her. Okay. Okay. And she's going to target Gonzo. It's been nice knowing you, Jiki. <laughs> oh. <laughs> With Bakudo number one, Sai cast as a sixth level spell. You are so lucky. Gone so. <laughs> so, five, ten. Uh, Gonzo, you need to make a strength saving throw against her spell save DC. Um, strength saving throw. Come on, come on. Fingers crossed. Yes! I'm unimaginably strong. And Too her spell saving DC was 18, so you succeeded. So you are not bound by Sai. Then for her second action, she's going to target Shiba. Oh, oh fuck you, guy. boys. Or not Shiba. Uh, yeah, Shiba. <laughs> she's going to target Shiba as her second action. And... 
and she is going to punch you. For eight damage. Punched him? I think that just knocked me out. you're so weak. I think that just knocked me out. Yep, so you're knocked out now. The early game spellcaster, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's knocked out. Suit. Yeah, he got knocked out because he only has eight H play, and she did all of that in one punch. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're that weak? Oh my! Oh wow! Yeah, spellcasters don't have HP. I thought it was gonna be like eleven. I didn't know it was eight. His hit dice is six. Dude, Puxel, your character sucks. <laughs> Say that again to my face. You're dead. Oh, what do you mean? Said, like, I, I, I can say like, anything you're to you. On the ground. <laughs> I'm unconscious, not dead. Okay. And oh, that was her turn. She's one punch, man. So, oh, God. Okay, so it's Mizuku's crazy. turn again. So Mizuku's going to now make a death saving throw. She succeeds once. Nice. And then it is Squid again. Come well, on, my boy. Well, if it isn't me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's getting owned. Wait, okay, so I have a question. Okay. How does the... How does my Sapphire Nightmare Blade interact with like my Awakened Zanpakuto? Uh, it would just give it the bonus chance to hit. But you don't have another use of that because at level one you can only use two martial arts. And I'm pretty sure you used two last session. No, I I used one and then I saved the other one because there was no point. But I don't. I mean, I don't think I'm going to use it. Cause, uh, I mean, would it even be helpful here? I forgot what it did. Oh yeah, it adds extra damage. Oh yeah, then yes. This is a perfect. This is what I was saving it for. Uh, okay. Let me read this. I need to make a concentration check for Nightmare Blade. Yes, and concentration check, which isn't a stat, so we were just using Constitution instead. Because concentration, that's a holdover from 3.5e. Oh my god. Okay, so you did not successfully complete the check. So go ahead and just do your regular attack. I missed, it just hit myself. And then the second one, because you remember you have two swords. Okay. I think I missed with them both. No, you hit with the first one. Actually, you hit with both of them, because uh, you're close enough to Jiki that you would be getting an advantage. My boy! So... The tag team. You take both of the swords, and you kind of, because the swords are already embedded in her, you kind of just pull them out, and then rotate them 90 degrees each, and stab them in again. So you, 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 you stabbed her once through the back and once through the uh, front, and now you just stabbed her both through this through both sides. Non-lethal, by the way. <laughs> Remember, guys, we're trying to knock her out. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, how right. Much damage wing, is that? that is uh, 19. So, what? Hmm. And she she looks very distressed with a, a, a massive amount of blood coming out of her stomach area, and her face is starting to turn very pale. I am so sorry for this, by the way. And I so I need you to me. click the death save on your character sheet. Who? Pixel. He's oh, the oh. one who got one punched. <laughs> one second, let me click it. Uh. You succeeded once, so you can go ahead and click the first bubble for the successes mm -hmm. so that it fills in. And Zaxi. Okay, I attack non-lethally. Okay, so but you will do have... I have a lot... 
do I have like normal because uh, yes, Gonzo is next to me? Gonzo, yes. Ah, okay. I have two attacks, right? Yes, because you're not moving. Okay. Okay. All right. So, you what you do is you take your sword and you look at the hilts of Gonzo's sword sticking out of her stomach. And you turn your sword around so you're using the flat of the blade and you slam it down on the hilt of Gonzo's sword like a hammer. Oh, damn. Wait a minute. And Perfect tag team. <laughs> that doesn't sound non-lethal at all. <laughs> <laughs> and because of how close it is to her, uh, to her lungs, you're basically hitting the sword so that it goes up and like is compressing her lung with the with the side of the blade because the swords have gone in horizontally. So you're yeah. using your sword to lever her, his sword in order to push it up inside her body in order to compress her lung. Dude, you could have just choked her. I could have just hit her with a bat. He didn't, tell, he didn't tell me he wasn't using his swords. He just said he was using his swords and it was non-lethal attack. Dude, Jiki is a mad lad. <laughs> Last time I sliced a man in half. What did you expect? She coughs out like a metric ass ton of blood all over Pixel, who she's facing. Oh. <laughs> and slumps down to the ground unconscious. We did it! Guns of my boy. My I boy! Hug, I hug Jiki. He's my best friend. <laughs> <We're talking. laughs> Y'all are murderers. No, she's not dead. They knocked her out. Yeah, she's fine. She's totally fine. Y'all killed like all their men. And Except then... Gonzo. Gonzo. Want to kill Ibaki? Okay. I'll be honest with you a little bit. A Once few minutes life, after all of the sound of fighting has stopped, you see the people are coming back out of their houses where Ibiki had told them they should go hide. And they're just looking out the street at all the dead animals. Oh yeah, yeah call like, the villagers over there. Free food. Meat. Free food. Yeah, come over here, guys. Hello, hello. Please feast. Feast upon these bodies. You can have uh, the, the humans too. Of the oh boys. my god. Uh, <laughs> Pixel. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, Pixel, nobody has stabilized you yet, so go ahead and make another death save. Screw you guys. Hey, we we're a little busy. And uh, Mizuku just failed one. Oh, RTL! Nice to see do that, something. Right? RTL stabilize here. I'll try to do that to Pixel. Okay, so go ahead and make your death saving throw. My third one? I already made one. Oh, your second. Oh, you, okay, yeah, you succeeded that one. And okay, now that you've actually said that you stabilized them, they're both stable, you can come back to life on one HP. Sweet. Yeah, I feel so strong now. All y'all can... Oh, wait, how much XP do we gain? Everybody should gain 400 XP, except Pixel, you gain 200, because you were unconscious at the end of the battle, and Mizuku also only gains 200. Ah, oh, F. Uh huh. But but Ibaki did nothing. <laughs> I hate that Ibaki's getting XP for this. <laughs> he literally <laughs> saved your healer's life. Yeah, but healing's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Although I've got it, I'm gonna make a note that I'm like very afraid of her now because I don't know what she just did. So, all the villagers have now gathered around. And they're looking at you all kind of fearfully. Oh boy. Shiba, I think that this is a task for you. Honestly, if I go up there, I might just kill them. Accidentally, of course. You know what? You're right. So I walk over here, up to them. <laughs> Can I walk up there before Dudonzo walks up to them? And say something before he actually speaks or says anything? Yeah, you can head them off. Oh, also, yeah, while this I'm, is happening, can I that. go grab this bear and give it to the girl? What? All right, what you know bear? What? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. You can kind of just ignore everybody and walk by. Okay, I grab the bear. Why did you roll initiative? I'm planting <laughs> something. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on the other side of the villagers, away from Gonzo before he tries to just some, do something stupid. <laughs> gonna, it doesn't matter. I can freely control my. They, I could just go around them. I'm gonna go to sleep. I don't care. Okay. As you pass by the innkeeper, he just he kind of tries to get into a corner and get as far away from you as possible. But I was the only one that killed no one. 
<laughs> yeah, we might be afraid that the, bro, the real Shinigami will come help you. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go you. to sleep. Night. <laughs> I'm gonna tell the villagers. Honestly, I don't have anything to say. You could go tell you. Honestly, y'all just fucked up this entire situation. I'm going to. Can I talk to this villager all the way over here on go the ahead. left? Like the farthest. Because I'm still trying to find these bandits. So, hey, do I know where the bandit hideout is? You were told right? to the north. Where's the north? Wait, I wait. It, what Ibaki's doing is stupid. I need to do something important. Where's the north? Okay. Ibaki, if you go to face the bandits right now, you will die. Out of character, I... you will die. Where, wait, where, still, where's the north? Where is it? It's a map, so north is up. Oh, it's up. So I'd have to go up to find the bandits? Yes. But for now, the sun is getting very low in the sky. You've been fighting all day, and you're all very tired. Gonzo's gonna go over here. Gonzo, are you seeking... Oh, no. Next, uh, what's her name again? Oh, no, I swear, if you... Uh, I... She needs to be stabilized, or she is going to die, probably. That rule only applies to players. I'm doing it anyways. Okay. (laughs) Uh, so... The townspeople still have no idea what the fuck just happened. And Jiki, you have the bear? Yeah, I'm bringing the bear to the girl. I found your bear. I was in the alleyway near here. Wind probably blew it off. You can have it. His name is Matsuka, right? That's right. Thank thank you. Nobody's ever done anything nice for me before. At least, well, my parents did, but they're dead. So since they died, nobody's ever done anything nice for me. I feel for you. You're gonna need to learn to survive on your own. Oh, I can survive just fine. I, I go up to the meat crates when the butcher isn't looking, and I take what I need out of there. Okay. <laughs> That's actually what I did back in the days. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can have the bear. I'll come visit you sometime. Like, Just stay safe, please. Oh, mister, well, if you're going to be here for a while and you have to go about at night, s- s- stay away from the sewer. The manhole, the, the people come out of the sewers and they take you down and then you ne- they never see you again. Okay. Wow, Thanks she, for she just told you some horror movie shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, God, you're stuff, saying... Bro. Thank you. I'm beginning to me. think maybe I just... I just go home. You're, you, you're welcome, Onita. See ya. And I... Jig got an entire side story, bro. Got an entire filler. Literally episode. any of you could have done that. All nah, of you knew she I lost her bear. I don't care enough about it. Gonzo probably already her. killed her by accident. <laughs> 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 okay, Ibiki, you're now addressing the townspeople, I take it? Yeah, I'm gonna dress the town people. So I'm I'm in bed, uh, but I'm gonna come out here so the stream can see the map. Good idea. Yeah, villagers, villagers. As you can see, a ter- a terrible battle has gone on, and I'm sure all of you are aware. But this is all the bandits' fault. They're causing so much trouble, and all these soul reapers are here to cause an end to it. The bandits have done too much to y'all. So I need each and every one of yours help, information about these bandits, so we can get rid of them once and for all. Well, we don't really go. This is the butcher talking to you. <clears throat> well, uh, we don't really uh, have anything to do with those bandits. Uh, we kind of just keep to ourselves and give them what they want. Uh, they always head off to the north. Okay. What it explain a little deeper when you say you give them what they want? What do they ask for? No, uh, I need every detail you can give me. Usually, just food or raw material. Sometimes, when uh, new residents come in, they'll take those too. But uh, well, I mean, they're new people, we don't know them, so just look the other way and we don't get hurt. 
So you say you give them raw materials and people. People are raw materials. <laughs> she by your sleep. <laughs> also, I, I, I come up to Ganzo and just say, tell to him, so, bro, um, I got a piece of info. Don't tell it to the other guys. Just stay away from the sewers. I don't uh, care if the other two die. Let's just... tell Ibaki to go check the sewers out. <laughs> a brilliant idea. We'll tell him bandits are there or something. We'll tell him that there's like a girl in distress that'll date him. Oh, yeah. even better, even better. Okay, and Wait, moving back if, to Ibaki. I have a question. Can I, first of all, where's the sewer on like this mat? It's the thing that looks like a manhole cover in the oh, middle of the street. I literally thought that was like a wheel. <laughs> can, I, <laughs> can I take this unconscious woman and throw her in the sewer? Uh, yeah, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, you can do that. All right, I'm considering. Hey, Jiki, how do you feel about this idea I just had? What if we take this heathenous woman and throw her in the sewer? Hmm. We'll see about that one. Hmm. All right, we'll keep that in, oh. the, in the holster for now. No, that. No, that. Write, write it in the journal. I'm actually writing it in the notebook. She continue, makes continue. trouble. She's going down in the sewer. Okay. She's going down in the sewer. Hey, Vicky, you're still talking to the villagers. All right. Uh, all right. You told me they take... I'm going to break this up into two parts. First, the raw materials. Three exactly parts. what type of raw materials are they ask, do they ask for? You said food, raw materials, and anytime there's new people that show up, they take them to... I don't care about the food, but I can. I guess I'll ask about the food, too. Tell me about the raw materials first. Exactly what type of raw materials? Spirit stone. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> uh, spirit stone, like uh, iron, wood, just raw materials, like what you would use to build weapons and shit. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Next, you said food. What type of food? Whatever they ask for. Usually they take like 30 to 50 percent of whatever we produce. Mm -hmm. Lastly, you said people. Now, be more specific. There are new people and they come to the village and they don't have a place to stay. The bandits come up to them and they offer them a place to live. And then we never see them again. But like I said, they're new people. We don't have any feelings for them. So we kind of just ignore it. I see. So you let travelers come to your village and get taken by these bandits and don't do anything or report anything to anybody? I mean, they have really big swords and I have a cleaver and I'm the only one in the village with a weapon. What do you want me to do? Shiba, what do you want? I'm asleep. Alright. Well, I'm going <laughs> to take into account everything you told me. What I want you all you people to do is for this... I want all of you people to clean up this mess and pretend like nothing happened today. You can keep the meat. Is that clear? <laughs> uh, if we do that, you won't kill us? Yeah. I won't kill any of you. And what about your friends? You said you won't kill any of us. What about them? Are they going to kill us? You can't well, make promises so for us. Can we hear this? Are we within 30 feet? <laughs> They're not shouting, so no. Oh, okay. I thought I'm always shouting. Just well, they're <laughs> soul reapers. I'm gonna say this. Well, they're soul reapers. They are obligated to protect the people. If anything, um, I can uh, assure your safety. I've, as you can see, I'm armed myself. Well, thank you kindly, Mister. You said you wanted us to clean this up, but uh, do we, um, do we just. Uh, Clean up the, the, the people, but uh, keep the boars. You can keep the boars and, yeah, put uh, dispose of the dead bodies. I whisper. If they're still, if they're still living, sword. I want you to put them in a clinic and uh, have them rest up until they heal. Which one's the butcher? The one with the... Uh, the one carrying like the blade of meat. <laughs> oh, that's meat? Oh, dude, I thought this guy was eating a watermelon. That makes more sense. Saxon, where did you go? 
Uh, I'm going to whisper to the butcher from where I am. I'm going to whisper, uh, you can eat Wait, the people Wait, where too. are you? Hey, move your character for a second. What Not you, the Pozo. hell? He stood on top of you. I was inside <laughs> you all along. That is... Uh, did it, when, did, when did he move there? Did, did he move there when the conversation was done? I'm too fat. You can't like register my movements. I'm too quick. I can. I can. I think I can register your. Especially movement. since your your back was turned to me. But I'm gonna whisper to the butcher and be like, "Hey, you can eat the people. We. Will, I will not tell anyone." And the butcher <laughs> looks at you appalled and asks you, uh, "Please don't. Uh, don't ever come by my shop." All right, peasant. You know what? I'll let that one slide for now. Okay, and it is the sun is now completely set. I've been asleep this whole time. Don't sleep in the same bed as me. We're twin brothers. <laughs> oh, we lost someone. Yeah, is Saxy completely is left the ball. Is internet drop out? We'll just pretend he's possibly here. he'll be here in spirit. Be spirit and spirit. Well, oh, I went to sleep. Okay. Why is Mizuku like on the floor in the corner? She's not going to share a bed with any of you. Yeah, get our tail's gross body out of the bed and give it to her. No, nah. our tail just come share a bed with us, dude. More than <laughs> nah, I don't like Where's Where... I don't trust y'all still. Actually, I'll just put her on the second floor. I oh, haven't even man. killed anyone. I'm gonna be honest. I feel I feel insulted to be associated with these people who murder people. I'm gonna murder you if you don't go to sleep and shut oh, up. Oh, Saxy's back! Yay! It's not. I moved him in here. Oh, hi, Saxy. You're dead though. Okay, I think it's so, time um, for a nice long since, rest. Since I get double one of my abilities, you remember? I'm not gonna say. Oh, oh wait, I don't care. Um, the uh, relentless personality trait. Um, do I recover all my HP? Yes. Oh, yeah. Do I, lo- I uh, okay. lose my temporary hit points, right? Yes, because you're long rest in. And I'm kind of trying to just kill time to see if he's able to get his internet back. So can, real quick, all of you have just long rested. Yeah. Uh... Then Gonzo. That's me. I'm deleting your old character sheet, and you should now have a new character sheet for level 3 in your quest. Or in your journal section. Oh, nice. I'm here. Oh, look at my... (laughs) I've become more powerful. Oh my god, I'm a legend. And RTL, you should now have your new one, and I'm deleting your old one. All right, cool. Shiva. Should be in your journal now. Mm-hmm. Copy it to Shiva. Rename that, and then delete the old one. You gotta give me perms to see my character sheet. Oh, oh! Pretty sure I did. No, just his bio. <laughs> uh, that's what I think it is. Hey, give me perms to see RTL's character sheet. <laughs> oh, now I can see it. Sweet. Uh, y'all don't know what I can do, yeah. bro. Y'all don't know what I can do. I have a. Qu- I need to ask a question about my character after the session. So we have everything but uh, my Shikai that's in this, right? Yes. Speaking of that, while you were sleeping... Uh, hold on, I'm just doing Saxy's sheet. Yeah, we might as well be able to see Saxy's sheet. Well, oh, yeah. So yeah, that means from now on... His internet cut out. So we'll go ahead and we'll do this last little bit, and then we'll call the session a bit early so you guys don't proceed too far without him. 
My Zanpakuto is permanently released from now on, right? That is what that says, yes. Oh, he said his thing cut out? No, he's not online in the Discord. He just dropped out of the session. Uh, I mean, what was that internet come back? Uh, we'll see. So... And I also need to give RTL that. RTL, you have a second object in your journal now. And while you were while you were sleeping during this long rest, you have you have a dream. And in this dream, this figure floating about eight feet up off the ground with a giant eyes looking down at you. Are you going to do anything with this figure? Wait, a figure with a giant eyes floating above who? Above you. You're. This is while you're asleep. You're having a dream. Above me specifically? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna say, what are you? It doesn't really have a body, but if it did have a body. You imagine that what it just did would have been perceived as it cocking its head to the side. Um, if you check your journal, I just added an item to it. It's a picture of this creature. How so do I check? Like. Oh, this is journal. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. All right, all right. Uh, he cocks his head and goes, who are any of us? I am me, and you are you. But I am also you, and you are also me. You see? A smart, uh, smart Alec, huh? No. Are you? Because I am you. Well, I did not mean to click that. You are me, and I am you. I guess, uh, we're each other. It looks like. It does seem that way. I think. Oh. What should what I call you? My name? Rakurai ga Nikai Hasai. Alright. So uh, lightning strikes twice. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you. I'm, uh, I'm hey, sure we'll have fun together. A very creepy grin when you say you're sure you'll have fun together. Like he's smiling and showing all of his teeth. He goes, Yes, I'm sure we will have fun inflicting much agony on our foes. Hmm. Okay. Um, I don't have anything to say after that. Uh, and all of a sudden, you feel as if an electric shock came down your body, and you snap awake. And Mizuku is kind of hovering over you, uh, and it looks like she was about to cast healing keto. I asked her, "What? What is she doing?" Hmm. You were thrashing around and sweating. I thought you were sick or something. Nah, I'm okay. I appreciate it. I mean, you saved me. It's only fair. Very well. I guess we're even. Question. Uh, will I be able to get my fox this session? Uh, Still? Yeah, we can kind of go ahead and do a set of downtime. Oh. For the remainder of the session. So downtime, the way that works in D&D, &D, this is the first time we've had it, uh, each character can go out into the city and they can do things. Okay. So since RTL is gone, or sorry, since Saxi is gone, RTL is still here. Uh, since Saxi is gone, we can go ahead and have all of your characters do downtime. So you can pretty much do whatever you want in the city. Uh, so uh, I'm going to wake up and leave uh leave the building 
Okay. And um, why cannot move outside? Why does it keep sending me back? You're probably trying to move through a wall. There we go. Uh, no, I'm just sending me back. I moved you outside. Yeah, I'm trying to move further outside, but it's just sending me back to the outside position. There we right go. now. Okay. Right. So uh, I'm gonna go looking for a uh, animal. Okay. Uh, do you want me to roll something or? Uh, no, because we decided your first one would be guaranteed what it was, so you don't need to roll for it. Okay. While he's doing that, because it's going to take him a few hours to search for things, uh, what would you all like to do for your downtime? Um, it's sparring allowed. Yes, you could spar. Yeah, I can move. Are any of these buildings around us abandoned? Or are these all like in use actively by people? Uh, you can ask a villager. Uh, I guess it actually doesn't matter. I'm going to go like right here. I'm chilling like in this little alleyway. Okay. Gonzo's gonna spend this time like talking to his Zanpakuto and further like deepening his relationship with it. His new best friend. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hey, Baki, what are you wanting to do? My thing refreshed again. Hold on. I'm at a bear place again. Hold on. I don't know why he keeps on sending me there. Um, you shouldn't be able to see inside that building. <laughs> that building is completely sealed at the moment. I don't know. It's sent me there more than once. So <laughs> I'm seeing it. Maybe that's a clue. Um, Folks, so I get an attack of opportunity on you. You're dead. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask Mizuku. To, to come with me outside to explore the city. And she cocks her head and agrees to go with you. Just She just nods and follows you. And I'm going to give you control of her character token. Go. Cool. You should be able now to move her character around. And if you do a selection box, you can select both of the tokens at once. Okay. That way you can just keep her with you. Uh, so then, Shiba, you are still out walking. And Gonzo, you were talking to your sword, so we'll go ahead and handle yours first. Because it's going to take him a while to find an animal. So as you sit down in meditation with both of your swords crossed on your lap, still in their sheath, uh, eventually you fade out of consciousness and into the world of the mind. And in front of you, you see a freakish, scaly thing with two whiskers. Oh, and like a, a very large fish. fish. And he looks down, you know, or he sits across from you, although he's like three times your size. And he looks down at you, and he says, Yes, my name, Namazu. It literally means catfish in your language. Hmm. Then it makes sense that you would look like this. So, like, uh, what are you all about, Catfish Buddy? What are you, uh, what's your deal? I'm not sure. I only just came and achieved my own life yesterday. Anything I can do to help you, like, get, you know, settled in quicker? Or you need anything from me? Just if we can talk and bathe in each other's spiritual pressure, I should be able to go stronger. Okay. Did, did they teach really you this at the academy? 
didn't really like the way you worded that, buddy, but uh, sure, let's do that. I'll, I mean, I got nothing else to do. I hate my brother, so. <laughs> Why? Why do you hate him? Which one? I hate them both. You have more than one brother. Yeah, I've got one. He's around here somewhere doing dumb shit, I'm sure. His name's Sheba, and then I have a much older brother, way older, like centuries older, named Biakia. And he's like a real mean guy. He just does not love me at all, or anyone, it seems like. Maybe he's under misunderstood, and he actually cares about people a lot. <laughs> I think he respects strength, so you and I, we need to work together to earn his respect. That, that sounds like a fun time. And he winks at you. Again, dude, you're I love you, but man, you're really throwing me off my game with this weird shit you're doing. I was really hoping you would be like a bloodthirsty monster. I mean, I enjoy bathing in the blood of my enemies, but there's more to my personality than just that. Well, we're going to be together hopefully for a long time, so I'll learn to respect you, and hopefully you can do the same. He reaches out and he pats your shoulder and he goes, I think we can do that. I turn and I, my eyes widen at his gigantic, his massive hand just dwarfing my body. I don't even, I mean, this guy, <laughs> I didn't expect him to be so big. Humongous. <laughs> He's like the size of a building. I guess, I mean, if I have nothing else to do, I might as well just chill in here. Like, we, I'll just met, stay in here with him and, like, vibe, I uh, guess. So we will go ahead and uh, come back to that then in a minute. Oh, yeah. Uh, question. Uh, do we get a roll for our long rest? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. So, uh, Pixel, we're going back to me now. again. <laughs> what? Okay. Why does it keep sending you to that building specifically, though? I tell you, that's where you have to end up one day. It's the chosen building. Uh, it's a prophecy. Something's going to happen in that building. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think so. Pixel. Mm -hmm. You, as you are traveling do, do, do. in an alleyway. Oh, send me there, I guess. Small animal. Jumps out and starts yipping at you. Um. I do. I have any. Uh. How do I tame a fox? Okay. Um. I'm gonna try to. Uh... I mean, you don't even know it is a fox. Just a small animal jumped down and started barking at you. Okay, can I use nature to figure out what it is? Yes. Yeah, you successfully deduce that it's a fox. Uh, do I know anything else about foxes? You are familiar that they are omnivorous. A spirit fox. Do I have any food on me? Pretty sure none of you have anything in your inventory other than the clothes in your backs and your swords. Get him some mystery meat, Poxel. Okay, I'm gonna go get mystery meat and give him some of that. Okay. And, uh, while that's happening, Ibaki, what are you up to? Um, me and uh, what's her name? Yes, you and Mizuku. What are you doing when you're exploring the city? Uh, well, we go in this alleyway, and I ask uh, Mizuku to use uh, uh to <laughs> I asked Mizuku 
if, I this much, into an ER, if this turns into if you try and turn this into an ERP, I will kill your character on the spot. What is it, ERP? Erotic roleplay. Yeah, are you is this a sex scene that you're trying to lure us into? Not <laughs> at all, but um, <laughs> y'all y'all literally went <laughs> with that direction. <laughs> Christianity, we need the cross. <laughs> Oh, I mean, as, you just um, pulled a cootere into a fucking alleyway and you're asking her to show you something. No, you want to see some I <laughs> asked her, no, I'm going to ask her to uh, use her for uh, keto just in case anything happens. And I'm going to try to use a new te- technique I just got. I'm uh, I'm going to use it, kind of unleash it, see how it goes. Okay, so she casts a keto for you. And kills you instantly. <laughs> she wishes. That'd be the best turnout. That is the best disguise keto she has access to. Okay. So nobody can feel your spiritual pressure. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. So I'm gonna unlock my uh, Zanpakuto for the first time. My Shika. Okay. I am just staring directly at RTL, alley to alley. I'm just looking right <laughs> at him. <laughs> no, no, you can't you're see in, him. You're right? in your mind world right now. You're unconscious. Oh, yeah. I'm in, like, the spirit realm. Yeah, you can't see. Crap. Get out of here. Okay. So, go ahead and release it. Uh, what's the... What's the... What's the... Look in the, the handout that I had to do. You said what? Look in the handout that I gave your character. Wait, what? Look in the handout that I gave your character in your journal. In your journal, there should Remember be a your sword. sword. It's a, uh, it's a oh. handout literally called RTL Sword. Yeah, yeah I see it. it tells oh, you bind the them. There you go, bind them. All right, all right, cool, cool. All right, bind them. As you utter the release command, you watch your sword blade as it starts to spark with electricity running from the hilt up to the tip and their electricity is growing fiercer and fiercer and the sword blade starts undulating and slowly fades out all the while undulating and when it finishes you are left holding a hilt with a line of lightning coming off of it it's about 10 feet long experimentally as you flick your hand around you, know, you realize that the lightning is behaving and acting just like a whip. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, can, can I practice on like nearby like objects I see in the in the alleyway, like cans or something? And Mizuku cocks her head at you, and she casts another keto. And in front of your eyes, you see a figure has materialized. It looks like a bandit. Hey, she was working with the bandit. All right, I'm going to practice on the bandit. (laughs) I'm uh, going to attack the bandit figure. The The first time he's ever attacked something. (laughs) <laughs> uh, y'all don't know anything yeah, it's about pretty it. wild that this guy was carried so hard that he's able to release his shikai without ever drawing it <laughs> <laughs> bro i'm just that much of a bad I, okay with doing. the swords i literally what i did for your swords is i looked at your character's backstories that you gave me and then i found different elements in them and then i added them all together and gave all of you a number Oh, so mine and was low because I'm first patient. Roll, that first roll that you got um, added to that number and determined the order in which you would all unlock your shikais. And I'm patient, the worst. <laughs> and Squid, you actually would have been second, except you rolled really well during that first roll 20, which pushed you up to first. Wait, who would have been first, me? You actually would have been first, yeah. <laughs> You lucky dog. <laughs> I'm just a prodigy. <laughs> nah, I'm a prodigy. I mean, How can yeah, my Zanpakuto I... not awaken after just spilling so much blood? 
<laughs> I mean, without Squid, our tail would be dead. So, not at all. True, all of you would be. Yeah. Not, not, not me. Y'all, maybe y'all would be dead. Not the me. Chat, the chat is saying Squid is the prodigy, not you. <laughs> they wish. RTL is trying to simp after they all together, besides RTL, beat Kaku <laughs> Kakashu. <laughs> I haven't simped once. Didn't Ganzu say he wanted that you, uh, Mizuku to be his girl? You did too. I was Just... naming. You were being serious. There's a difference. I never, I never once said anybody I wanted them to be my girl. I haven't said that once. False. False statements. Okay. But uh, I'm practicing here. All right, go ahead my, and uh, roll your attack. Oh, okay. Uh, come on now. Come on out. Oh, that's my notebook. Uh, do I just type in the... Uh, this? No, you should have an attack on the character list. It's the name of your sword. Yeah, I typed it. Okay. And are you trying to use the whip to bind the target, or are you just going to whip it? I'll start off by binding it. Okay, so then that soldier needs to make a difficult or a save. You see it says 14 DC, and then the, if they succeed the save, they're not bound. Yeah. Where did I put that go character up sheet? Mm -hmm. It did, yes. With these new character sheets, I've already adjusted all of that. I mean, the oh, top of it. tanky as hell. Okay, so he's going to make a saving throw, and if it is strength, okay, he failed to save. So he is successfully bound. He's also been electrocuted for 26 damage. No, 22 damage, sorry. Math. Interesting. All right. Is he unconscious, or is he still, like... No, he's, he's, he, he uh, gets the whip wraps around him and restrains him in place, and he gets shocked. You can see he's visibly shocked. The smoke is, like, flying off, like, coming off of his body. And he... Um, slumps down, but he is still conscious and still alive. Okay. Alright. Well, I'll basically say not bad, not bad. And then try a outright attack for the second one. Well, if you look at your character sheet, uh, look at your sword card again, it actually says everything you're able to do on that. Okay. So, the whip. I can constrict them. Yes, so that's where you like pull the whip and tighten it, which counts as an attack that automatically hits. So you would just roll an attack and then it would do the damage. You don't All have right. to worry about their armor class since they're restrained. Alright, so I'm going to do that. So then they would take the six bonus damage only. They would not take the nine lightning damage for the constrict. Okay. And he's still, he's just slumped there. Like, he, he's not dead. Interesting. So I can wrap him. When he's wrapped, he's going to get constricted. Yes, I read. Um, and so if you see at the bottom, it says while the enemy is restrained, you have to stay within ten feet of that enemy. Yeah. And if you attack a different enemy, it will unrestrain them. Okay, makes sense. Do I, I only my one sword? My only got one whip, right? It's not Correct. like two. Yeah. Okay. But your one out of all of the Shikai's, yours actually will do the most damage. On a single attack. All right, cool, cool. Um, all right. I want to unconstrict him and then try out a just straight out attack to see what that does. Okay. 
So you release him and then roll the other attack. Okay. Uh, All right, and then you strike down with, like, you pull the whip back, and you kind of make it go rigid, so it's now it functions like a sword, and you cut the lightning sword down across the target and slice very deeply into his chest, but he doesn't bleed or peruse any fountain of blood, because as the lightning passes by, it sears shut the wound. Okay. How the hell did Musico just, get, like, summon a bandit? It's the keto spell. Just summon man? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's a, um, it's just a keto that's allowing her to, it's an illusion keto. He's not actually fighting a bandit. She's produced the illusion of a bandit for him to fight. Oh. Dude, RTL is just tripping balls. <laughs> no, no. I'm like, is, it, is it like, is it gone yet? Or is it just like there? Yes. Until if, you're, if, you're, if, if, if you're, yeah, it's still there because you haven't told her you're done yet. Oh, so that's how it works. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, I tell Musico that's enough. I can't, I get the gist of how my sheet that works. Um, you can unrelease your keto now. All right, she nods and she waves a hand in front of your face, and the bandit seemingly, or the bandit that was never actually there, disappears. Um, I also tell her between keep this between you and me. I appreciate it if you don't t tell anybody else about what my uh, what you saw today. She cocks her head to the side, just only if it doesn't cause any problems. I am a member of their team, after all. Can I can I add persuasion to this? Sure. To really emphasize that point. Go ahead and roll persuasion. It's a one. She tells everyone. <laughs> That's her charisma. I really wish RTL got a one there. That would have been hilarious. Honestly, <laughs> even if he got a one, he she still might have uh, failed. Hey, bro, you don't know what I can do, bro. Uh, and she nods. She thinks for a moment, and then she shakes her head and she uh, up and down. Goes, okay, now he won't tell anyone. All right. And then me and her go back in the city, basically. Okay. Or the village or whatever. And uh, we're going to loop back around now to uh, Squid. Do you have anything that you else that you want to discuss with your sword? No, I'm just showering him in my spiritual pressure love. Okay, go ahead and roll 3d20. 3d20. Mm -hmm. 37, okay. Uh, Pixel, you have successfully claimed the meat. Okay, I'm going to give it to the fox. Uh, it looks up and grabs the meat out of your hand and then runs a few feet away and starts chowing down on it. It looks like it hasn't had anything to eat for a while. I guess I'll go grab it some more. I'm surprised this butcher isn't chopping you up. The butcher is just kind of ignoring him because he's worried about what will happen if he tries to stop him. Yeah, we gave him like at least two boars. He's fine. Two boars and like five people's worth of meat. <laughs> Jeez. You can feed a couple of bits to a fox. I'm going to grab enough uh, I'm going to grab enough meat to fill the fox easily three times over. You have to roll a nature check to see if you know how much a fox eats. I, I already did. I got a 14. And no, I'll um, grab enough meat that would fill myself up. And it's then, just man. raw bloody meat in a, like a bomb. Foxes trough, right? eat raw meat. Do you think that they like cook their meat? Yeah, you said to fill you up. 
Are you gonna eat them? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm giving the fox so much meat that the that the fox will love me. Oh, to kill it. <laughs> all these all these uh, filler episodes are really really interesting, bro. We got uh, helping little girls, helping foxes. <laughs> I mean, what do you? We can't progress the bandit storyline when we're down on a player. Well, it's like in Minecraft when you're trying to tame a dog, and one sometimes a dog takes one bone, and sometimes you gotta give it like twenty bones. Uh, what what are the effects of the meat? Does the meat like... Okay. He appears to be satiated. Okay. Now, uh, what do I have to roll for the spell? Cast your spell. It should automatically roll as long as I set it up right. Okay. Uh, which one is it? I'll have to go to spells to check. Uh, no shit. <laughs> that's a wave of thunderous force. Never mind. Um... <laughs> should have just picked one at random. Uh... Okay. You are now sitting there for one hour pouring your spiritual pressure into the poor fox. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like uh, Voxel is trying to get a pet fox. That's literally what he's trying to do. For an hour? <laughs> this poor <laughs> thing. This is an actual spell in D&D that I had to go and adapt into bleach terminology. Why do you want a pet fox? He's trying to make a, himself a nine tails fox, but but be in bleach, bro. I'm gonna just cut it in half. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for this. Oh, I, wonder how I get it. You want it so, interact. like that way, it's like an emergency food source in the field. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the fox. Nah. Uh, right. You want it? You want have the, you have the character sheet know. ready for the fox? Yes, also, I'm finishing it right now. I'm just inputting its last attack. I, I, there's a typo I have, in that I have, spell. I have two questions about the spell. So it doesn't cost a spell point to summon the fox, right? It Only does. Action? Oh, it does. It costs spell points to summon the fox. And just summon it? Or can I just wait no, for it? No, you, you can just spell the fox without having to spend a resource. Okay. And this fox goes to like my own private dimension, kind of. Except I can't yes. open up the portal, only it can't. Okay. And you permanently lose two spell points. Well, yeah, I, I can uh, refund it if I ever Squid, want to. since you're familiar with D&D, this is literally the Warlock spell familiar. Again, I, I question how useful this will be for a Soul Reaper. I can level uh, up he's the able, fox. He's able to cast Keto through this fox as a medium. So he can cast, like, touch Keto. From the instead of having to go up and touch it himself, he can have the fox run up and touch it. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you just want like a little suicide bomber? <laughs> yeah, that, that's exactly. So he doesn't have to do all the. Is this, is I am. Class I'm also. Uh, this... You are correct about the nine tail fox thing. I buffed it so it would be able to turn into a nine tail fox because bleach power scaling. This so, was just a yeah, little fox this fox with eight is gonna be points. stronger than folks. <laughs> Bro, he's gonna give this. He's also. Still gonna give the fox a straw hat too while he's at it. <laughs> right now the fox only has two tails, okay? Yeah. When we were when I asked speaking of level ups, RTL, you still have to pick two feats. And Squid, you still have to pick your additional um martial arts. Mm -hmm. Uh so do I take the eleven in my class resource and turn that to a nine for now? As for a, the max, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because I know like, that I know that I have uh, that I can refund it eventually if I ever need to, if I ever get too many of these things, right? Can refund yes. them. Yes. Okay. It's actually a pretty good spell because I could grow this thing to level twenty eventually. It would take a long time, but imagine how, how do I how do I pick feats again? Uh, from the feats list that I showed you. Or that oh, I, I sent you when you're creating your character. Okay, yeah, you have to pick two more of them. What else? Uh, okay. Um, it should be in your journal now. So, oh, now I see it. Yes, yeah, sweet. Fox. Oh, crap. This looks strange. Animal how many martial arts five. do I need? To, how many sand martial arts do I need to pick uh, or whatever? You can pick uh, one additional diamond martial art. And then two, either sand or diamond martial arts. Oh, wait, no, tiger claw is what I went with. Yeah. Because I'm like a Ooh. cat. Tail whip. 
Well, there is only one more diamond mine technique anyways. No, if you scroll down, there's more for level don't, 2. Don't worry, youthful Cyclops. If the fox uh, dies, I can. Uh, it just is dead for three days, and then it resurrects itself. Wait, <gasps> Invincible Fox? <laughs> no, it can die, and it only has eight hit points. I thought you said that it, it will only die for three days. Yes, but it still would be dead for three days, so it's not invincible. Yeah. So basically, I could eat it. And <laughs> I could eat it. And then it. digest it, and then three days later, repeat the process. Uh-huh. Man, he said, I'm going to get a pet fox just to eat it, bro. Jesus, <laughs> folks. Okay. Well, okay. unless anybody else has any downtime they want to do, we can go ahead and call the session there. All uh- right. Uh, um, I want to talk to my sword. No, that's my thing. You can't. Nah, do that. nah, 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 nah. My sword gave me an evil look. I need to look at it back. I'm just gonna until Saxy comes back. All I'm doing is pumping spiritual pressure into this stupid catfish. So I'll handle Saxy. I'll give him downtime too, but I'll handle it out of session. So whenever his internet comes back, I'll get with him privately and we'll figure out what he did during his downtime. So at the start of the next session, we'll have you all in the room and you can have a little strategy meeting or whatever you want. Can I pick tiger moves from level two or just level one? Yes, you can pick them from any level that you are. I won't. It's full. Don't worry. I'm level three. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Fox, go over and up to that person. Okay, so, Ibiki, you are going to go back to your alleyway? Uh, yeah, I'm going to tell Mizuku to, uh, she, she can leave. And... Okay, and then, Pox, so you should be able to control your fox now. Okay, I'm going to tell my fox to go eat that person over there. No, you're not. Uh-huh. Okay, question. Uh, okay, that's that's actually all I... Uh, okay, I so Mizuku is going to go back to the room then because she doesn't really have anything she wants to do. Um, can I... Uh... Oh, I found my two feet that I want to put in. Uh, message me them and I'll add them to your character sheet between sessions so they'll be ready for the next time you're in combat. Okay. Actually, I don't think... I think <laughs> Um, All right, so you are in a state of meditative trance with your sword. Cool. Uh, as you fade into unconsciousness, you enter your inner world. Strangely, your inner world seems to be... Oh, do you have a preference? Or are you okay if I just describe it? Yeah, go for it. Okay, strangely, your inner world seems to be a massive cavern with gigantic stalactites uh, and stalagmites. There's a lake in the middle, and the cavern is so large that up near the roof, you can see dark clouds that are periodically hitting the lake with lightning. Wait, I didn't even have an inner world. Uh, <laughs> because your swords awakens differently. So your inner world. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll describe your inner world next time. I kind of spaced out about that. I, I forgot that it was a thing that all Shinigami had and not just Ichigo. Alright, it's okay. Just give me my bonka. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and your sword your sword spirit, that large floating eyeball thing with the, all of the teeth, it floats up out of the water and it greets you. You seem to be very weak if such a simple illusion was able to fool you. Uh, what are you talking about? You really thought that such a weak, weak little girl would be able to summon up an enemy that would survive so many hits from me? Hmm. That was clearly an illusion. You should go kill her for casting it on you. But before you kill her, make sure to electrocute her. Well, I'm not that foolish. I just need something to... Uh something to test my power on well ours there's, power there's, on. there's lots of villagers everywhere no I'm not in the mood to kill innocent people 
Sorry to uh, disappoint you. Nobody's innocent, though. Everybody's done something. You're right. I hope I never have to meet an uh, RTL Zompacto. <laughs> hey, he didn't. He, he didn't pick a personality. He literally said I could make it what I wanted. I did. <laughs> You're right. But for now, I'm going to give these people the benefit of the doubt. Well, when they eventually prove you were wrong to trust them, I'll be here. <laughs> Very well. Well, while you're here, help me become stronger. You ne I never know when I might need your help. Very well. If you want to become stronger, the easiest way is just to beat yourself. Uh, elaborate. He elaborates by turning into a perfect copy of you. And he's holding himself as a sword. I'm getting the Ichigo treatment? Okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, I think I get the gist of what's going on. Let's do this. Well, I need to pull up your character sheet so I can roll from it. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. We got you pulled up. And you two are currently slowly circling around each other on the shore of the deep lake. All right. Dude, what if a be uh, Baki dies? <laughs> All right, I'll rip. Um, I wait for it. I wait for it to attack. You're not going to do anything. Fine. Then I'll make the first move. He's dead. And Let's go, go ahead. And you have to uh, make the saving throw, which is strength. So click on the skill name for strength because he's trying to find you. Uh, I have to click on the saving throw strength. Yes. And you are successfully bound. So now, every turn, he gets to do this. You take six more damage. And now you have to make the saving throw again in order to try and break free. Five damage, and you make the saving throw again. Interesting. Six damage. Eleven, seventeen. I think our kill is going to die. Squid, after this, can we party? Uh, 24, 30. So you have one hit point left. If you don't make the saving throw, you'll die instantly. Damn. Damn. And as you, the current leaves your body, this whole time you've been wrapped up in the sword because all of this is like in a second that this happened since there's only two of you. So to describe what just happened, uh, he makes the first move. He whips out himself and coils it around your torso, pinning your arms in place. And you feel just a shit ton of electric, of electric current flowing through your body and just smoke is coming off your body as you struggle to break free, and then you feel the whip starts tightening as he's pulling it back, and you're starting to have trouble breathing, and you're coughing up blood, and you collapse onto your knees, and then you're thrown out into the street, and, you, and you're thrown out of your dream and back into the real world, where you're completely drenched in sweat, just panting for breath, and you feel a very, you, like, you taste this very distinct flavor of copper in your mouth. Okay. Uh, I mean, I pretty much say to myself, so that's what uh, the inner world is like. I'll be better prepared next time. And I'll get up slowly, of course. 
I'm glad my Zanpakuto turned out to be a cool guy. <laughs> not a you, serial killer. Squid, and you wanted oh, yeah, a psychopath. Oh, yeah, I got a serial killer. Huh? You wanted a psychopath. I he didn't a want anything. He didn't tell me what he wanted. Oh, I thought I thought he said during this session that he wanted a psychopath. My bad. Well, Can I go back in for round two? No, you may not. Damn. Because you were defeated. So we're going to go ahead, and from there, we will call it to be continued. Woo. We went over 30 minutes again, and we lost the player halfway through. But actually, no, because we started about 20 minutes late, so that wasn't too bad. Mm-hmm. So, the way that I'm planning to handle the inner worlds, which I was trying to use these two things as a bit of a tutorial. Oh, yes, you can. Sure. I don't care if the people hear this. Uh. The way that I was I'm planning to handle the inner worlds, and specifically the Zanpakuto spirits, each one of your spirits does have a personality. And out of character, RTL, your personality is sadist. Mm 